here you are. Another boat for you. This one's a sailing boat, which you can tell because it has a large mast on it. This is a westerly, slightly older boat, but nevertheless still very, very practical. And to be honest with you, you get a lot more boat for your money with a sailing boat. All of this teak. lasts a lot longer. Half cockpit. And this one's also got a laugh cabin. What's really nice is a lot of the rigging is new, it's been redone by key rigging and it's got in mast furling. So the mast or the sail, sorry the mates rolled into the mast, which means you haven't got to store it anywhere. first. There's a little escape hatch for the forward cabin. Down here you've got your anchor winch. Roll of furling again. Front here. Anchor you can see just hidden around the side. Lots of fore deck. As I say, mast, a radar up there and a radar reflector can as well inside. The first thing you do is you step into the cockpit, by the wheel, very large centre steering wheel, and then the current owners had a new Raymarine navigator fitted. I believe all the uh, teak around the cockpit here, flexi teak, is also relatively new and you've got your gauges you've got your depth speed wind indicator and a Garmin repeater that one of things GPS down here you've got all your storage lockers big big storage lockers for ropes and fenders and the like there's an outboard tucky down there as well the table here that folds up winches and then all your lines and controls all run to the cockpit and are really nicely labelled as well. Just for the sake of it looking aft you've got a dab it for the dinghy and that large white box in the back there is the life raft. Down here you've got your engine controls. I had a brand new engine fitted which we'll have a look at in a moment and there's your bow thruster control. So a quick peek inside a yacht, it's always a lot different. It's very much a case of dropping down into the cockpit, into the saloon, sorry. But you do get a lot of space. So bear with me while I drop down inside with my camera. First thing you see when you come down inside is a really cosy saloon area. You've got, you've got extra seating on the side here. If I then turn round, you can see there's a galley here with a gimbal cooker, double sink, and then you've got storage all the way around. Uh, microwave oven there, a bit of ventilation, which is always nice. And on the other side, you've got your what they call nav station, so you can sit here, chart tables, work out where you're going to go. You've got your digital yacht information there, 12 volt distribution. And have a ship to shore radio there. This table then folds out and these are probably converted into a bed, double bed, or gives you dining for both areas. We move forwards. On the fourth side here we've got conventional heads with pull-out shower. We go forward, we've then got forward cabin. It's quite high up because obviously the bow cuts in quite quickly. But decent sized berth with an opening four hatch which is nice just behind this door you've got a bit of storage and this side over here you've got what they call the wet locker so you can put your oilers in there and they drain into the bilge and then get pumped out you've got storage all down the side here lots and lots of storage so another quarter berth here 
So it looks quite small, but that berth actually tucks in under there where all those cushions are. Gives you a bit more storage. We then move aft, we've got the master cabin. Again, more storage, opening port lights through here. Little pop-up seat. Big double berth. Lots and lots of ventilation, opening port lights. And then another conventional pump out head, pull out shower. Another wet locker, your wet oil is. And then if you bear with me a sec, I'm just gonna uncatch this door here. And we can have a look at this brand new engine. So there you go, in there. Recently fitted, you can see it's pretty shiny. It's an engine, and that runs through a single shaft that you can see at the back there, out. It runs a single propeller sitting out the back of the boat, which is then steered by the large wheel we saw. Just pop that back in there, one and two. That, in case you're wondering there, is a bilge pump. And there'll be a lot of those dotted around Yachts quite often run with a slightly wet bilge. All the flooring in here is brand new. Teak and holly flooring. But as you can see, there's a, there's a lot of room down here. This is an extension or continuation of the mast. That'll run right the way down to the keel. But really pretty boat. Really tidy, really clean. There's secondary access to the front of the engine there. Through the stairs. These stairs unclip if you need them to. There's your VHF radio in there. And there you have it. So that is a westerly. This is all self-draining as well down here. So if you do get water coming in over the sides, it drains out or you can pump it out as well. And here you go. So this is what you see when you're sailing. Standing here, wheel at your hand, navigator, all the lines running to you.